Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Women Corner on Oweleke TV. Today we are going to be talking about a controversial frenzy between popular cross-dresser Idris Olaruwaju and our African Wahala Portable. I am Muhammad Sadatu and I'm your host. Of course, I'm not alone in the studio. I have with me my beautiful co-host, Chu Enju Osisiegu and Eunice Bako. Thank you. Thank welcome you. on board, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll take a short break, but we'll come back, we'll talk more. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Welcome back. Recently, at a movie premiere of Ajakajo, Beast of Two Words, Bob Risky was awarded the best female dresser, which stirred a lot of reaction and comment online. One of the most stirred reactions is that of Portable. Ladies, what do you think about this controversy? Well, for me, I think uh, Bob Risky is a male. Mm -hmm. He was created as a man. Okay. So I see no reason why he should he should the be award awarded. Dead. Um, the best female dresser just because he dressed like a lady and went to the uh, movie premiere or uh, possibly because he has come out to say I'm a male, I'm a female. female. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. You were created as a man. Please stick to what you were created as. Don't confuse us. Don't let us be thinking yeah, you may or she or a him or a shima. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> so please, please. I, I see that as an embarrassment to womanhood, to sisterhood. Exactly. And uh, there's a recent video of him coming up uh, and saying that, eh, you female, you should not stress yourself. Stop worrying yourself. I see you are stressing yourself because I came out and I want this money. You have to accept the fact that I am part of your sisterhood. Bro, Whose sisterhood? You are not Honestly, seeing that, sisterhood. That, that whole thing was really a big disgrace yes, to womanhood. Because yes. when I watched it, I was like really, really disappointed. Because a yes. lot of women, if you watch that um, video very critically, you realize that a lot of women actually spend so much. A because the, the dress code is a um, royal beast. And a lot yes. of people putting in efforts to ensure yes. they look good and charming. And at the end yes. of the day, they give the awards to a man. So now, what are they trying to encourage? Are they trying to what? encourage men to you know, to be the cross dresser? Yes. And when you go to events, you'll be winning big prizes. Because the amount that Bob Risky won that day was one, one million, million, and that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot. So and that can entice somebody else if, to do more. To if, do more. If, if I'm a man, if I'm a boy, a young boy, a male, and, I, that and I, I see something like this is like you have set an example for me, oh, okay. and I'm just going to follow your footsteps. And nothing, like, is done. And nothing is going to happen is because catching. I'm going to win the money. Mm. If I can use 500k to get myself dressed and look so good and charming, mm. I can just go out there and win the money and come of back. Course. I pay the people. I collected 500k from and boom. Okay, let's um, talk about a uh, portable reaction. He just released a, a short clip <laughs> single <laughs> dedicated to Bob Risky. What do you guys dedication. have to say about that? Honestly, I don't really blame portable, okay. you know, the fight and everything because actually very painful seeing your own fellow man going really? to collect an award that was supposed to belong to a woman. Oh so coming out to, if you watch, if you listen to the argument they both had, I don't want to call it the, the fight. The yeah, the insult and everything. It was really, really hot. And Bob Risky was really taking it so hot. But then we were actually calm at the beginning. He was trying to explain to Bob Risky that ah, this thing is supposed to be a man, man thing. So why are you involving yourself in women, women thing? And yeah. one, so before Bob Risky turned everything to a fight i really don't blame um, because, for him. because if i was a man too i would actually be feeling bad for uh, this kind of thing not supposed to happen in nigeria but whiskey is a fighter do you, so, yes. do you think portable will use this um take advantage of this situation to what advantage? No. What's the yes, advantage? Just, all of a sudden we just saw a single online and the song was dedicated to Bob Risky. Risky. It's a special, <laughs> it's a special <laughs> single. So, regardless of what may come okay. out of that single, it's it doesn't matter but the main aim the main aim of that single was not to get money but was to send a message, message. to Bob Risky she, since he was fighting and she doesn't want to hear come come so, so let's give him a song 
Yes, not just to Bobriski. I think it's yes. to cross dressers in general. Yes. Okay. Because the, the rate of cross dressers now in Nigeria is becoming alarming. alarming. There was one story I was reading about Macmillan. I don't know. I think they used him as um, Abuja an ambassador, face, yeah, an ambassador for ambassador a company. Recently. So, this thing now, are they trying to encourage people? It's like they are encouraging cross dressing. It's, it's, right it's becoming. So, what do you think is the positive impact of this cross dressing? Positive. Yes, positive. maybe there are, uh, there are positive impacts that we don't know. Okay. Because mostly cross dressers are being used mm. in movie like um Tyler Perry he's always using cross dresser where he has to be the big mama of a thing yes. and one of his popular movie Mandy or something like that yes. so I know the positive impact to movie um uh, characters they use cross dresser to project something but I don't know what is becoming of it in our society now, today okay the positive I I don't I don't see any positivity to that okay Mad um Tyler Perry you're talking about he's okay, doing Madia yeah Madia yes. The main aim of Madia is to is it's just comedy. It's just for comedy it's sake. Not just, you can just see you can see him dress as a male uh, as a woman mm -hmm. and the way he acts funny. Madia is a woman character, so that's a different whole ball game. Now Bob Risky on the other oh. part, he is coming. I can remember very industry. well. I can remember very well when okay. Bob Risky came out um, the last time when he was coming out growing up and uh, when becoming when he was uh, upcoming, upcoming upcoming yes he said he made the statement and okay. i will never forget he said women don't know how to dress wow. so he wants to come out and dress, change dress and change right? the narrative wow. that he can even look more beautiful, beautiful than, than a real woman, woman. so hmm. he wants to come and show them that he is bob risky and he can dress and, actually, and look he actually so good did. and he's and doing he that did. and people are encouraging for, for him, him to for and him to call himself the um the mommy of, of lagos that means he's up to his People game are encouraging it. okay so like i said that um these um controversies stay a lot of comment and reaction mm -hmm. i have a comment i want us to look into um this is coming from harry lucky he said this is what we call damage control in entertainment nigerians have been looking for an opportunity sorry nigerians have been looking for an opportunity to backlash Bobriski, and it is unfortunate your work fell for it this is this comment is coming on that one of the recent um, posts, which was made by Eniola Ajola, the Ajola, the producer, where she said that she she uh, she used Bob Risky yes. just to promote. She gave Bob Risky the award just to promote her movie, and now the whole controversy is not actually promoting her movie. Instead, is promoting Bob Risky and giving Bob Risky more spotlight. Does that even make sense? Do you think this is a damage control? Does that even make sense? Okay. You promoting promiscuity just because you want to get money, mm -hmm. you want to make money, and you don't even have shame. You're coming out to say, "I am doing this because I did." It just tells it just tells you the length humans can go just to get money just to make it just to promote why can't you just go the straight road why can't you follow the right way look at auntie uh, auntie funke akindele yeah she has been in the industry for A very years. long time yes and, she, and she's taking her game she, step by step do you get it it got it took her years for her to get to one billion views the tribe of Judas, right? Her yeah. And it took her movie. tribe of Judas after so many, many movies, movies she has produced. After not even Jennifer Diary, Jennifer's Diary, Jennifer's Diary that we all enjoyed, Enjoy it, exactly. and it's giving us episode yeah, upon, upon episode, episode upon, upon daily episode basis, back to back. on daily basis. <laughs> you do you know the stress she went through? No, like it no it, it tells you people don't like going through As stress. The effort, they just want strategy she used. They just want straight. Do you get it? The, yeah, the PR strategy, strategy was yes, top notch, much. and it got her that thing she yeah. wanted. But you, you just want free fame and all that. Well, it tells you the length humans can go to get what they want. Even with the whole strategy, if you realize that a lot of people didn't even come out to know the title of the movie. Exactly. exactly. The movie was like, yes. it's like they it just was, shifted it backwards. Yes. And yes. Put and it was the like, like but was like, was the main yes, the whole, the whole thing. thing. I could even think, I could, I could even think he even acted in the movie. That probably was what he, I was, yeah. Probably, probably was he was the beast. My mind. I was thinking Bob Risky was actually the probably, beast. <laughs> probably he was the beast. They didn't tell us. All right. All right, on this note, this is where we cut the curtain short. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms at Oweleke TV. I am Muhammad Sadatu. Till we come your way some other time. Bye. Follow us on our social media handles at Oweleke 
TV. Visit our website at www.oweleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Oweleke TV, rising star at the fairground.